What is the ticket again? It's your boy Trayvon. And your girl Kira. And how are you guys doing? Today. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications, you guys. You guys, we are on the road to 10K. 10K. All right, you guys. Right now, energy level is kind of low. Just yeah. got done watching American Murder, The Family Next Door. I've been seeing this on Facebook. Didn't know what really happened, but we decided to watch it tonight. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and say our opinions about it. And the Kira's going to go ahead and talk first. Yeah. Boom. This, honestly, I don't know. Like, it's a lot of questions that I still have. It's both combined. We still have a lot of questions. But how I feel about the situation is, you know, when you're married, yeah, I know marriage gets complicated and all, but when you step out and add that third party in there and you now have another influence, like, I just feel like, from the wife's perspective, it looked like she was literally begging him to love her. Begging him to love her. And then like, you know, he was taking all of that energy and investing it into another woman trying to start something new. And he wanted his cake. Well, not even he, he not even that. He just wanted to, it seemed like to start all over, you know, like, I don't know. Like, I just, to have your children killed, your wife killed, you know, all in the hopes of starting life anew with someone else. It just seems, it's like a nightmare. It's like a horror story. And not to mention, um, when they were doing the interrogation, uh, the guy was the, one of the, the um, what do you call them? What? The um, detective, investigators, the detective, detective. Yeah, detective yeah. Um, was talking to the female saying, oh, you know, basically, did you have anything to do with it? And she was like, no, no, no. But, you know, in my eyes, I'm just like, what this, what had, what had, happened to them? Rest in peace, the condolences. You know what I'm saying? I just want to know the truth. You know what I'm saying? Because the media is only going to want you to see and want you to know what they want you to know. Okay, but my thing is, any woman that a man is with, mm -hmm. and if she's saying this is gonna be a problem, this is gonna be a problem, what do you think a guy's gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if you dating somebody and you be like, oh no, I love kids, oh, you know, maybe, you know, but why take it to that extreme? You know what I'm saying? To, to try to take their lives. I feel like if a woman cannot accept you and your children, then that is not good. And if a man cannot accept you and your children, that's not the person for you. Like, mm -hmm. I would, at that point in time, if she ever made it clear to him that she wanted her own family and his family is too much baggage and stuff like that, then he should have kicked her to the curb immediately. Like, if you're going to do something, at least do something with somebody who's going to be accepting of you. Not like I condone having affairs when you're married, because I don't. Mm -hmm. But if you are going to be having that extra attention from somebody, at least get somebody who knows the situation, who's comfortable with the situation, and accepts your family. Because this shouldn't even... She, 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 <laughs> His whole family is gone. His whole life is now thrown away. Three life sentences <coughs> gone. Like, he's gone. And then, you know, it was another thing is when I guess the neighbors had, like, footage of, mm -hmm. you know, him back in his truck mm -hmm. into the, um, you know, the garage. Yeah. But I'm just like, okay. Her car was in the garage, so I don't think he could have backed it in all the way. If you guys haven't seen the series on Netflix, I think it just came on mm -hmm. today or yesterday. But um, when he backed his truck in, he said that he put the kids in the back seat. Mm -hmm. But if you was to watch the footage, the, you never seen no kids go into the back seat. And you said like on a bench seat or something. Yeah, the and, bench seat, which is the back seat. Yeah. But um. It just doesn't, doesn't add up to me. Honestly, I just... It's too many gaps. Like, first of all, he was saying, Cece, the baby was asking, what's her name? It was Cece Belly? and Bella. Bella. And I think he, they, that Bella was asking, what's wrong with Cece? You know, mm -hmm. like, what's wrong with her? So at, one, at some point in time, this daughter was the only one that was still alive. So it makes me wonder, like, where... He killed the 
kids because at first he was like kept saying like I didn't kill my kids she killed my kids like I didn't do this but then again he did lie in front of everybody's face and make it look like he didn't know where she was and he knew he had killed her so I don't know if he was buying himself time or trying to figure out what to do but at the end of the day I know like we have discussed the kids I don't know it's too many questions. It's too many gaps in the story. You know, the story kind of not lining up in certain areas. Mm -hmm. You know, we actually had to go back and listen to the confession again to see, like, exactly what he said because it just doesn't make sense. Like, why the kids? And she was pregnant, so obviously it was still have been a child getting killed anyway. She was pregnant. Yeah, but it Nico. Just, it just doesn't make sense, you know? Why the kids? Like, you know kids are the most innocent there is like they didn't, ask to, they didn't ask to be in this world and you know it hurts me because it's just like kids helpless like can't defend themselves that's a grown man you know and I just felt like you know if you plan on trying to get fed or inspired Whatever your goal was to do, mm -hmm. I don't see why you just couldn't do that with, with your wife. She wasn't an ugly woman. Mm -mm. So very beautiful. You know, I just I just don't understand. Like I just don't. Said, like it has to be a support system. See, where, you know, they were saying she was a bossy woman, she was a bitch, she was this and this and that. Okay, but that's who he chose to be with. So obviously he seen something in that woman that he liked and he enjoyed. So what I don't understand is why all of a sudden, at some point in time, was he just so ready to stop putting his energy into this woman, into another woman, while she was sitting there begging for his attention? That's what I don't understand. So I feel like it's a lot of questions that need to be asked that haven't been asked and answers that need to be known in order to make the situation make sense. Because as of right now, like, it's going to sound so bad, so funny, but I don't know. I kind of yeah. I mean, I want to hear more nothing, from him. Yeah, there's 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 a lot to know. Like there's there's a lot to to figure out because it just story just does not add up. Mm -hmm. Just does not add up. It doesn't. You know. But um, you guys comment down below, man. If you guys haven't already seen this Netflix movie, man. If you got Netflix, go ahead and watch it, man. And. It's sad, but um, we're gonna leave the title of this Netflix movie and event in the description, so yeah. you guys can check it out. So you guys make sure you guys go check it out, man. Please comment down below, man. Um, condolences to the families. You know, people need to stop bullying. You know, stop harassing them. Whatever is going on, man, let them be at peace. Yeah. You know, this woman is gone, and her kids have some respect. You know, just be respectful, man. Like this is America, like. Be respectful. Come on. That's it. Just be respectful. That's all we're saying. Be respectful. But please comment down below in the comment section down below on how you guys feel about this whole situation, this event. But remember, you guys, the grind don't stop. And the hustle don't quit. We out here. TK. Gang. Gang.